Here I show you how to estimate either the equilibrium constant or delta G standard uh, if the temperature is at 25 degrees Celsius or, or close to that. Uh, so we start with the expression, uh, the usual expression between the equilibrium constant and delta G standard. Now you can rewrite this. Uh, here I put in the value for the equilibrium for the gas constant in units of kilojoule per mole per Kelvin. And I plug in uh, 298 Kelvin, which is 25 degrees Celsius. So that gives me this value. This means that when I work with this, I always work in kilojoules per mole. Then I change the base here from base E to base 10. Uh, and I do that simply by multiplying uh, this value by the natural logarithm of 10. So that gives me a value of 5.7, which I'm going to approximate as 6. So what this means is that if I change delta G standard by 6 kilojoules per mole, then I change the equilibrium constant roughly an order of magnitude at 25 degrees Celsius. So this is a very useful equation to, to memorize and to use. So even if you need an exact answer, it's always good to estimate what the answer should be first so you know that you haven't made any mistakes uh, when you plug in the actual numbers. Okay, so let's use this uh, as an example. Um, if here we have uh, an equilibrium reaction, the equilibrium constant has been measured to be 1.74 times 10 to the minus fifth, and if you uh, plug in the exact numbers, that corresponds to a delta G standard of 27.2 kilojoules per mole. Okay, but we could actually estimate this. Right? If we say delta G is 27, roughly, uh, then that corresponds to an equilibrium constant that's roughly this. Uh, right? Because 27 divided by 6 is 4.5. So that means that the equilibrium value will be between somewhere between 10 to the minus fourth and 10 to the minus fifth. Right? And in fact it, it is. It's 1.74 times 10 to the minus fifth. It's a little bit bigger than 1 times 10 to the minus fifth. Okay, so this is a very useful way of estimating uh, the size of either delta G standard or, or K. So, uh, here's another value for delta G standard. So if delta G standard is 20, minus 22.5 kilojoules per mole at 25 degrees Celsius, what, will, what is the most likely value of the equilibrium constant here? So you should try to do this without using a calculator or, or Wolfram Alpha now. So simply try to, to estimate it using uh, this expression here and pick the one here that makes most sense. So press the pause button, think about it, and when you're ready, when you think you have the right answer, press play. Okay, ready? Uh, well, there's one here that we can eliminate immediately, as, as usual. Um, delta G standard is negative, so we know immediately that the equilibrium constant has to be larger than 1. So that means we can immediately eliminate this option here because that's an equilibrium constant that's less than 1. Now let's see how uh, we use the uh, equation to estimate whether it's this one, this one, or this one. Okay. So it's this one here, C, right? that, and that is because we have negative 22.5. We're going to approximate that as 22. Right? Now the minus sign here has disappears because it's minus a negative number. 22 divided by 6 is 3.6, and that's pretty close to 4. So K should be roughly 10,000. Okay, and this is the answer that's closest to that.